Okay, YouTube, uh, this time around we're going to be talking about Xbox drives. Uh, recently, my Xbox started having issues with the uh, dirty disk, uh, disk not readable uh, error. Um, so, this is basically a quick little tutorial on how to fix uh, that issue. What we're going to do, and let me show you real quick, this is a Hitachi drive here, and then this one here is the uh, Philips, Philips BenQ drive. Uh, you can see they're kind of different in the way they look. Um, as far as circuit boards and, and whatnot. I've heard that you can take the Hitachi uh, laser and swap it in here. It's the only one that will work with all the Xbox things, but haven't confirmed that. So basically what we're going to be doing is we take a, um, a multimeter here, uh, which is usually set to uh, 20K. And what we want to do is, uh, let me see if I can get in here and see. Um, these two points here and the one down below on this uh, dash pot or potentiometer uh, needs to be adjusted. So you take your leads of your uh, multimeter and you put it up on, uh, you could either do top and bottom or top and then uh, the other side of this as well. And then what you're looking for is a measurement. Um, a lot of people say you can just tweak it between, I think it's 2.8 um, ohms and uh, 3.5. Um, really the way this should be done is uh, take initial reading tweak it down a little bit because you want to lower the resistance that uh, of the power that's going to the laser here. Um, so basically over time the laser has become weak and you're adjusting this potentiometer here to increase the level of, of uh, voltage uh, to the laser so it actually reads better. So uh, on this, uh, as I said, the uh, ben, um, BenQ Phillips drive, it's here and on the Hitachi it's right there. So um, what these do here, this is for the DVD, and I've heard that this is, this is either for the focusing or for the CD. Uh, usually this will be a higher number than this one. Uh, I found that on both the cases on both these drives. So um, this is set to about uh, three, and uh, this I have not messed with, but the default value is about 4.2. So uh, each drive is gonna be slightly different uh, depending on, on what you're doing. And uh, to adjust those, uh, basically you take a small uh, Phillips, uh, either one or a zero, this is a zero, and then uh, just uh, rotate it, I believe it's uh, counterclockwise to increase the voltage, uh, lower the resistance. So if you guys have any questions, uh, let me know. Um, but uh, I'll be putting this back in my Xbox later on today to see if I can actually get this working. All right, thanks guys.